And Amelia's down at the zoo at the moment where she's found out more about what you guys can do to help fight wildlife crime. Thanks, Sarah. Well, yes, I'm here at Adelaide Zoo. And if you look behind me, you can probably see a few of these very little guys. They're gibbons from Southeast Asia. And I'm also here with Gert, who's a curator here at the zoo, and he's a little less very, but he's going to tell us a little bit about wildlife crime. So, Gert, can you tell me how are these little guys threatened? One of the things that happens to them over there is they're taken as pets, and that's just not a good idea. Primates are not good pets, but also used for photographic opportunities in tourist areas. So what you can do is don't have your photograph taken with them and support that sort of uh, that sort of trade. Wow, so that's overseas, but what about even here in Australia? What's happening with wildlife here? Well, some wildlife here are taken for pets as well. Uh, if you really want a unique Australian pet, make sure you get it at a reputable dealer, a good pet shop, and get the permits yourself as well, because you'll need one of those. And so what happens when these people do take native animals and try to sell them as pets? Is that bad for the animals? Quite often if they are taking us pets and they're shipped off in mass overseas means that you put a lot of animals in small boxes, small crates and a lot of them die on the journey and that's just not good for the animals obviously, it's just not good, good enough. Yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad, yes. Yeah, mm. so what can people do then uh, here in Australia to try and help stop the wildlife, the illegal wildlife trade? Well just be aware, be aware that uh, if you want an animal make sure they've got the right permits, got the, from the right pet shop. And don't uh, use animals that uh, there's a bit suspicious or you don't know where they come from. There you go. Well, thanks, Gert. There you go, Sarah. I'm afraid that as much as we both might want one of these little guys as pets, it seems that it's better for them to just stay where they are.